wave also sweeping southern Jefferson County last night. One Metro Council seat held by Democrats since 2003 is now switching to the GOP on the Metro Council. Republicans now have 12 of the 26 seats here locally. Isaiah Kim Martinez is breaking down what this means for communities outside the Waterson and talks to the Republican leader who laid out the plan to win those seats thought about it, prayed about it, and uh, felt I could do more locally. Republicans like Ginny Mulvey Woolridge in Louisville's South End have run the table in this election. She will take over in District 24, representing parts of Okalona, Highview, and Fern Creek. People felt that they weren't heard, that, that if they weren't downtown or on the other side of Waterson Expressway, they weren't getting taken care of. The GOP's dream scenario now a reality, flipping three seats in the Louisville Metro Council and holding on to four more. Republican challengers unseating two well-known veteran Democrats Rick Blackwell and Cindy Fowler. Longtime Councilwoman Madonna Flood chose not to run for re-election. In this map of the metro, you can see where voters wanted something different, the suburban areas of southern Jefferson County. We can actually write policies and we can help change policies uh, now that we do have the, the 12 seats in the, in the council. The margins are as tight as they've ever been since the city-county merger of 2003. Democrats in control will soon hold a razor thin edge 14 to 12 come January. We decided to focus where we were confident we would have a good shot at winning and we were not going to go after some areas where we've just traditionally had trouble in 12, 14 and 24. Well, hell, we got them all. Jefferson County Republican Party Chairman Don Fitzpatrick believes early turnout amongst Republicans made a difference. We do think that it's important for us to continue to expand uh, you know, the Republican and conservative uh, impact here in, in Jefferson County. Butler traditional high school teacher Jonathan Joseph of PRP winning by less than 100 votes. He tells me he knocked on about 10,000 doors. I think the South End community just oftentimes feels like they're the forgotten area uh, of Metro government and that the South End community wants to have opportunity to be able to go to different stores, to be able to go to different restaurants where they don't have to go across the city oftentimes to be able to get that. I asked Logan Gaddy, chairperson of the Louisville Democratic Party, what their reason could be for lost ground. Just my opinion, it seems like um, dollars and cents were, were the main driver of this election cycle. You know, that's something that we're going to have to contend with going forward. You know, some of these uh, issues that have been sort of on the periphery uh, are 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 not as important anymore as, as far as it, you know, winning an election. And whether the Republican Party is eyeing Democrat Mayor Craig Greenberg's office in the next couple of years, the answer is yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're, we are committed to ensuring that there are a couple of good, strong conservative alternatives to Mayor Greenberg in 2026. I did reach out to both Rick Blackwell and Cindy Fowler for comment on this story. Uh, didn't get a response from either. A familiar face in the state legislature as well. Republican Kevin Bratcher winning in the race for outgoing council member Robin Engel's seat. That's District 22, one of the districts that has stayed red in southern Jefferson County. Doug.